Hey guys, as you can see, we're slowly but surely getting ready for winter around here. Got uh, about a quarter or so stacked in front of the house. And the backyard over there, we got about another four cords. Approximately four cords, maybe a little more. It's actually almost five feet high. And it's two skids deep. So we're in pretty good shape. A little extra crap there. But anyways, I want to make the video because I haven't made an update on the on the greater blade in quite a while. The reason is because um, I have it all hooked up and everything. It's ready to go. But I have not been able to... Uh, demonstrated because I'm having starter problems. I haven't started problems for a while now and um, I uh, just been too busy with work to get onto it. So uh, anyway, but a couple guys emailed me about the plow. Got it a little hooked up and all painted up now. She's looking pretty decent. She's ready to go. And uh, I made some changes. Uh, I did get the right piece here. This angle piece here that comes over is the right piece. I still don't have the right straight arm here. I'm still using this one that I had on there before, but it is working. Uh, it's working fine, it's lifting and lowering, and uh, everything's working fine on it. I did change what I had wrong here, which, uh, Robert, if you're watching this, I'm sure uh, you'll get right onto this because uh, you were a very big help to me. This arm here and the through bolt here, I had them going through these ears over here, which is wrong. It seemed like it was the right thing to do, two ears on each side, but it was wrong. I had a, needed a long bolt going through the whole case. It's actually square here. You gotta make some square stock and drill the holes, fit the bolt, and that's where it goes through, not through those ears. So anybody just wanted to say that, if anybody watched that first video, wasn't gonna copy my mistake. It's really the main reason why I'm making this video here now, is to uh, just clarify one of the things I did wrong here. I said no couple of the other pieces aren't perfect yet, but uh, it is working. It's looking good. No more hitting the body at all when it raises and lowers. And I uh, had it going great one day and I didn't make a video. And since then, I've had trouble with the starter. Now really quick, trouble with the starter is a little baffling too. Of course, um, it will not turn the motor over. However, if I pull the plugs out to relieve the compression, the strength of the compression, starter will turn the motor over with no problem at all. Put the plugs back in and nothing. Well, it, it, it would just barely click. It will not turn that motor over. So uh, all my connections were very tight and cleaned. Absolutely. I even took this, uh, this switch apart, cleaned it all up in there. It wasn't too worn out in there, the connection, and put it all back together. Uh, hope that was it. I oiled up the uh, the gear here, all right, the Bendix spring, and it's uh, spinning and returning very well. You can see that now, just doing this. And I have a battery here, I demonstrate it. Like I said, I put jumper cables on that and kick it, she'll spin right out, no problem. It looked great. Put it in the tractor, like I said, with the plugs out of it, so it's no, uh, no big strain on the starter, she'll spin that motor over. Put the plugs in, she will not turn that tractor over. So something's going on inside that starter. I'm going to have to take it to the shop and have it checked out. I just putzed around, wasted too much time messing with it, trying to fix it myself. I'm not that familiar with the electronics, the inside of the starter. Uh, it's a six volt. Um, so, uh, with the holiday uh, coming right now, I probably won't get it to the shop until next week. So, anybody watching this video has any ideas about that starter, give me any tips. Um, I'm gladly welcome them, please. Uh, I, I can't hand crank this engine over, but I'm telling you, this engine was rebuilt uh, less than 10 years ago, and it is in beautiful condition, and it's got very high compression. It's very hard to turn over with the crank, uh, especially I got a bad back. So, um, anyways, that's the whole scoop. Uh, plow's looking good. She's all ready for winter. As you can see, I got the plow on little Bertha over here too. She's all ready for winter too. She'll be pushing snow for sure. So uh, again, just want to do a quickie of this plow setup so guys see what I rectified, what I had wrong before, and particularly this one right here. This bolt right here does not go through those ears. Uh, very grateful uh, to Robert uh, from YouTube for setting me straight on that because uh, I might have done some damage there by hooking it up the wrong way. So anyway, uh, 
that's the story on the whole plow. She's all ready to go. Getting ready for winter here. Got to fix, fix that starter. Any tips at all, guys, uh, please uh, get to me as quick as you can about it because um, it will be going into the shop on Monday morning probably and uh, see what they have to say about it. Hope I don't get ripped off for a whole new starter. Oh, it's just the brushings or something in here. So I got the hole all plugged up now, so nothing can get in there until, uh, until I get that starter back. So that's the deal, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, any other questions about the plow? A couple of guys that emailed me, feel free to contact me, and I'll pass on information that was passed on to me. And uh, that's the deal for now. Thanks a lot for watching. Welcome, Daniel.